You're watching RVT Rashid's Teletube, serving nations worldwide. Up next on RVT, Rashid's Video Tube, it's the Rashid and Jan Show. Following that, it's the Rashid and Annette Show, slash Rashid's Cyber Tube. Beautiful weather is here, and as our shison season rolls in, let Rashid roll out exquisite entertainment here on RVT, where it's Rashid. You're watching RVT, Rashid's Teletube Worldwide. Where is Rashid all the time? You're watching Rashid's RVT. RVT want to wish you a very happy shyston season.
You're watching RVT, Rashid's Teletoon Worldwide. Where is Rashid all the time? You're watching Rashi's RVT. You're watching RVT, a Rashi International Broadcasting Station. This RVT Rashid's Video 2 Broadcasting is brought to you partly by the Rashid and Jan Show and by delicious refreshing strawberry milk. Drink an explosion of strawberry flavor in every drop. So like Rashid and Jan say, drink up! You're watching RVT! Oh, I feel so terrible. What's the matter, guy? Oh, you wouldn't understand. Oh, come on. It can't be all that bad. Okay, if I must, Rashid, I'll tell it to you. I have no sweets this year. You have no sweets? Well, that's not good. No, it's not good at all. I want something sugary. I want something delicious. Here, Sai, dear. Try some chocolate bites. Chocolate bites? Yup, chocolate bites. Tiny chocolate bits wrapped up. After dinner or evening leisure. They're great. Hmm, chocolate bites. Hey, guy. Yeah? Are you feeling any better? As long as I got my chocolate bites. I know, I know. So, guys, when you're out, pick some up. It's great. Get ready and save on Rashid's RVT Supermarket and Half Price and Saving, where you can save up to 40 to 50% off with coupon. And don't forget to check your circulars for money grabbing savings. Whole chicken tender poultry, just $9.99 or less. Or tender lamb and steak chops, now $7.99 or less at some dealer. Fresh cut watermelon, orange juice, $6.99. Fresh vegetables, so you don't ever have to wonder what's for dinner. Whether it's hot pizza or fruit, specially cut poultry, pork, beef, or chops. Fresh milk, all available for a reasonable price. Chuck shoulder roast, $3.69 a pound. Chunky soup, two for $3.00. Freshness right at your fingertips. And you can now shop online and have your groceries delivered to your door. Dice cut from the grocers to your freezer to the dinner table. Buy one, get one free fresh plucked strawberries or $2.99 a pound rump roast, crispy bacon, and a Rashi R Man advertiser for boneless beef chuck roast, $2.49. Dazzle your taste buds as you rack up on savings. And don't forget about the RVT reminder of ordering online. Supermarket savings and more are what you're going to get. So get shopping. Look! On your social devices. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's my cheese mansion's mouse. And I want to help you guys get a good night's nice rest. Take a look. Urgh, my back. Oh. Oh. Why 
Why should you guys suffer with stiff back, achy joints, and so on from a worn out mattress? There are hundreds of affordable mattress dealers in your area, and all is needed is you. Reliable mattresses that fit your comfort level, spring design style, chic and firm. Thank you, Rushy Mattress Moles. Anytime, an RET ad is worth two in a hole. And speaking of ads, don't forget about this one. And size your bedding up for comfort. A new mattress and a good night's rest awaits you. Just go to www.mattress.com. That's www.mattress.com. Uh, anyway! Hey, having spaghetti tonight? A whole lot of vegetables. Sauce just the way you like it. It's the thickest, heartiest sauce ever. Made with a whole lot of plump, juicy tomatoes. Special seasonings and spices. With that zesty, full-body tomato taste. Now you're eating spaghetti. So serve up some Italiano at its best. Now at your local market or go online at www.italiancooking.org. That's www.italiancooking.org. RVT want to wish you a very happy shyston season. Up next on RVT, Rashid's Video Tube, it's the Rashid and Jan Show. Following that, it's the Rashid and Annette Show, slash Rashid's CyberTube. Beautiful weather is here, and as our shison season rolls in, let Rashid roll out exquisite entertainment here on RVT, where's Rashid? Put it on this, spread it on that, a little on this, and a whole lot of that. Everything's better with butter. Whip it on this, a little on that. Smear it on this and square it on that. Everything's better with butter. Now you can square it up with butter or margarine. Electrify your taste buds with the rich and satisfying taste of butter. Whip it on this, graze it on that. Square it on rice, now that's... Where is that? Everything's better with butter. Now get to the grocers and square it up. Also in spray style to go easy on bread. Uh-oh, it looks like Rashid's dog is loose again. Doesn't matter, because when it comes to loving your pet, why settle for just a bone? It's time to love them back. With treats, you can get your dog to do a host of things. Like sit, roll over, or heal. And they will do it with crunch treats, cracker treats, or just a chewer. Yes, chewers are also excellent treats for your canine. And they come in all sorts of styles. They have treats for you too, puss. Meow. You're welcome. So reward your dog with the best. Treat them to chewy snacks.
Mommy, 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 he's taking me to the store. Oh, I'm so happy, I'm so happy, I'm so happy. Oh, mommy, mommy, mommy. Oh, go downstairs, gotta get dressed, gotta get dressed, go downstairs. Oh, I gotta get dressed, I gotta get dressed. Oh, it's such a beautiful day out here, mommy. It's such a beautiful day. Oh, my goodness, mommy, look at all the things, look at all the things. Oh, mommy, mommy, mommy. Oh, most of the things you get at the stores, you're gonna get really good deals if you got coupons. Oh, mommy, thanks. Hello, and this is Father Rashid. And knowing that this is the season for nothing but pure love and giving, I want to wish you a very happy Shaisa. You're watching RVT, a Rashi International Broadcasting Station. You're watching RVT, Rashi's Teletoon Worldwide. Where is Rashi all the time? You're watching Rashi's RVT. Oh, what a marvelous world it is today. You're watching Rashi's world on RVT, Rashid's video too. You sure are, folks! Why is delicious hot oatmeal so good for so many families? Oatmeal is rich in protein. A breakfast with Delicious oatmeal with milk and sugar for a family of four provides as much total protein as six average eggs. As much total protein as 18 pieces of toast. And almost as total protein as 18 strips of bacon. That's why your family get that wonderful stick to the ribs feeling with hot oatmeal. That wonderful feeling of well-being with only one minute of actual cooking time. So be sure your family get the protein they need with the delicious hot breakfast of hot oatmeal. Just go over to www.oatmeal.org. That's www.oatmeal.org. All day long the bunnies work, they got so very tired. So when they got home, they needed a boost. Rashi's chocolate cider. All day long the days were rough, it was no happy choir. So when they got home, they needed a boost. Rashi's chocolate cider. Well, not cider, but just hot chocolate. Deep, rich hot chocolate. Either plain or with marshmallows. An internet's best friend. And with 3 grams of fat and 6 grams of protein, why wouldn't you go for it? All year round is groovy! You said it, Culper. The marshmallows melt to a thick motherly malt as it oozes down your throat. You probably wouldn't stand for just one cup. And your imagination? Mm, just might get the best of you, if you know what I mean. 
All day long the bunnies worked, they got so very tired. So when they got home, they needed a boost. Rachi's chocolate cider. All day long the days were rough, it was no happy choir. So when they got home, they needed a boost. Rachi's chocolate cider. So let your imagination run wild all, all year round. Available at your nearest grocers or go online. Look, we all want to be happy. So be happy! A message from Rashid's RET and Rashid's Improvement Center. So I was crazy, surfing, whatever, doing absolutely nothing, saying nothing either. Then I came across Rashid's RET. Then I asked, what is this, who is this, and why is this? Then it made me smile. Not necessarily like the famous Hollywood scenes of Robert De Niro and Poppins now, and not like the train wreck either. That's a different type of entertainment that doesn't focus on the obvious. It's plain Rashi, Rashi's video too. So stop being afraid. <laughs> Your adventure starts here. Luggage from top names over 65% off. Just surf over to www.luggage.com. That's www.luggage.com. I hope you're enjoying RVT, but a hot dog will go good with your viewing pleasure. Rather than beef, pork, or chicken is guaranteed to satisfy. So go out and have a wiener. Look for money saving deals in newspaper and news ads. RVT, proud sponsor of the nationwide hot dog. You're watching RVT! Fun, 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 fun! <laughs> Tempted by the fruit of another! And I love doing it too. RBT, Rashid's video too. Serving nations worldwide. You're watching RVT, a Rashi International Broadcasting Station. The following presentation is brought to you by the Rashi and Jan Show, now streaming on YouTube, Google Plus, and other social media platforms. And now, enjoy the show. Broadcasting live from Rashi Cyber Rock RVT headquarters. It's the Rashi and MX show on Soul Show Media. Now, here's Rashi and <coughs>
welcome to the neighborhood. Wait till you taste my Margie's dessert. Dessert? I didn't make dessert. Oh. Instead, I made some fun. Hey everybody, welcome to RVT. This is RVT Rashid's video. This is the Jackson Long JC Rashid's music group on center. And I'm Rashid Armand coming online on social media, Google Plus, YouTube, Instagram, and other social media platforms. How you guys are doing out there? There's a free card with every zoo on sale now. Y'all know the drill. Again. Just relax a bit, guys. I got some things I want to show you. I was searching the internet, and I came across some interesting things. In the middle of my animation, which I'm doing for the 30th, I came across some things I want y'all to see that we can talk about. You got to check this stuff out. So, here is RVT Syndication. Yeah. It's a lot of things I want to say. I'm going to make this a show. I have to... Guys, it's a long story. I had computer problems, so... I have to get some more. I have to make a show... For... This toy segment thing. Or different things I found on the internet. Around the internet that... We're going to look at tonight. I have to get a show for it. Because... Um, I have I got problems with the last shit, so please uh, uh, just just bear with me, guys. So how you guys doing from yesterday? Ain't much happened in one day, you know. I mean, it ain't like I could talk about something totally new and ain't much happened in one fucking day too. Unless she had a baby or something, unless your test results came back, some shit like that. See red and get mad, mad savings on every CBS cassette. It's a wild red letter sale. All CBS cassettes have red lettering here, and they're all on sale. So when you see red, you'll get mad, mad savings on Men at Work, Toto, Pink Floyd, Michael Jackson, Culture Club, Journey, and more, more, more. Just look for the red lettering for Red Hot CBS Hit Cassettes on sale now. At participating stores. Available at all Sam 
Goody, Discount Records, and Music Land stores. There's a free card with every Zoom on sale now. Where you going, Susie? To spend the night at Kathy's. Bet you're excited. A little scared too, Milton. I've never stepped away from home. That's only natural. I was nervous my first night here. Really? Sure. I didn't know if you'd like Kellogg's Pop Tots, but you did. Especially all that real fruit filling and delicious frosting. Milton, did you ever stay at a friend's house? Nope. Couldn't find an extension cord long enough. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of good inside Kellogg's Pop Tots toaster pastries. Oh, yarded a lot, but I'm not tired. What is that, a good thing or bad thing? You know. So. I don't thought I'd come on and just, just chew some fat with you guys. On a Friday night. I hope we listening to it. I hope we listening to this. I have a very lazy tongue, dude. I have a very. I hope we're listening to this on a Friday night. I really do. I know y'all still dealing with the beast just walking around the street, but just hang in there. It won't be. You'll be, you'll be all right, as long as you got RBQ. As long as you got my sheet, I'll keep us entertained. I will. Yes, I will. Why do I belch so much on the air with you guys? I don't even belch at all. And yet, as soon as I come on the air, I, I don't understand it. I think maybe because my, my lungs are being contracted right now because I'm broadcasting. So that brings up the... But I don't belch. I'm, I swear, as soon as I come on the air, I just belch. I just... I don't know. Over here, we stick to reality, okay? Now, a lot of people, there's superhero shit all going around here. Y'all know I'm going to have shit for our ass around here. My she don't fuck around. I never will fuck around with you. I'm pretty serious about every damn thing. And if not, then uh, I'm just, well, I want serious. I want serious, you know? I really want it. Here's the deal, man. I found some stuff around the internet that I want us to look at and shit. And around here is reality. The other motherfuckers all around here are fantasy world and shit. Around here is straight reality, you know. Like that goddamn Stevie Wonder record. Gotta be reality around here. You know, all this game playing stops and comes here. And the you go yarning again, there I go again, you know. There I go again, yarning, you know. There I go. There I go, there I go, there I go. Come on, kid. I love my Easy Bake oven. You know how to work it and all? Of course. You just put the Easy Bake mix in here, and when it's done, it comes out here like this, easy as pie. And when the pie was open, the bird began to sing. My Easy Bake oven comes with enough mixes to make all these things. And now I can get extra mixes to make cookies. It's Kenner. It's fun.
This summer is just flying by. It's not flying by. But it's just moving along. You know what I mean? It's hard to believe it's just one more month. and I don't want to dampen nobody fucking shit. But, you know. It's hard to fucking believe, you know. So I'm taking a break from the animation. And I want us to just drift off and talk about shit. Stuff that I found. Retro. Y'all know Rashid now. Don't look for nothing like up the par and all of that. Because you know Rashid ain't about that. So I found some stuff for us to look at. I came across. Let me see. A couple of things. A couple of things. That's not like you can't just go outside today and just look at these things. These things existed, but for some reason they got by my eyes. I didn't fucking really. Yeah, we didn't. Baby, did you know? I didn't notice. I, I, and they got by my eyes. Jesus Christ. There's a free card with every zoo on sale now. So, the point I'm trying to make is life could be anything you want it to be. Especially on social media. Maybe it's some kind of secret code of how to navigate this fucking social media shit. Maybe not. Maybe not. Be yourself. Be true to yourself. And a real you will blossom like a flower in a desert heat. Like one of those 90s rock, rock and roll videos. And speaking of 90s rock and roll videos, rock videos, you know, all of them probably, all of them practically, they, they dying off. I'm talking about that Clinton administration shit. When everybody's walking around going, been there, done that. You know, white people was like that, been there, done that, and all this shit. All of them fucking songs, all of them artists dying off and shit. Would you believe that? I swear to God, I'm not shit you. They dying the fuck off. Would you ever, you know? It's getting really creepy, dude. It's really, you know, like, because... But that was a time period where it was American pride all over the fucking place. And the music was coinciding with it. Now, them, them fucking art, them people, them guys singing, dying off. We believe this shit. Ain't nobody fucking love. I mean, Jesus. Everybody dying. I think it's crazy. One of the, um things we deal with we got to deal with as as time go by i guess but well, the 80s too of course the 80s but this is different to see you know like people today in these rock bands who was here when that clinton shit was going on all this badass shit that they dying off now it's not fucking funny baby you laughing it ain't fucking funny i mean it's like oh You know, you think somebody would investigate or some shit. Get the fuck out of here, dude. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's more young people dying than old people. I mean, look at it. Look at the... Uh, dude, I swear to God, it's more young people dying than old people. And that's, that's unheard of. That's not right. You see something... You know, I ain't even gonna bring that shit on every time. I ain't give a... Nobody care. I don't care even. I ain't even gonna fuck around with that shit. But uh, the point is, I brought y'all asses here because I came around some shit. Came on, came off. I found some stuff. I know I shouldn't even say it. It just came on my mouth. But that's what you get when you're a, bro a broadcaster and you're trying to do a show and you fucking relax. That's what you get. Shit like that. Slip of the tongue. The old slip of the tongue. But anyway, take a look at this right here. Now, I now as an artist, I, th I find that very appealing because, see, it has a sort of 80s vibe to it. And on top of this 80s vibe that it have, 
you can store stationary. And it's, I mean, there's no way I will not get something like that, even though I know it's not big enough to hold on my stationary. I still will get it anyway, yeah, in a form of what? Fashion, make the desk look good, make my desk look good. That's really unique. I felt as I wanted to bring that on the show. Now, what do y'all think about that? That's a cassette. That whole stationery. What does it say on it? Let me see. What does that say? Rewind disc tidy. Rewind. I don't want to get too close because my microphone will start fucking up, you know. But it's a 120. It's a 120, um... You know, it's different speeds you got when you got Porsche's cassettes. My shit was the Sony, dude. That was my shit, dude. That 120, then it was 80, but it's called Rewind Desk Tidy. Titty or some shit. So, but I think that's really, really, um, I would get something like that. There's no way I wouldn't walk away with something like that if I came across that. Where can you buy these little neat... Get these these little these these little um tiki what do you call them antiquish it looks like an eighty silver It look it definitely it definitely looks like an eighty silver near. But they're like these it's I mean it gotta be a name for these things. They can, what are those things you walk in somebody's house and you see a bunch of glass little things on somebody's mantle? knickknacks and stuff like that i mean where can you buy these things at i would love to get my hands on something like that what if that thing right there was big was really huge as a notebook or your computer that'd be even better but in your head for some reason you think it's just a little bit bigger than the audio cassette well, not that big but a little bit bigger than all I would love to get some shit like that. Are, there, are those tax in there? You can use tax. They should have a section for post-its. Like a little pocket on the side of it for post-its. To put post-its, you know. But I think that's good for the home or office. Um, and what's funny about it, that's tape. And the whole thing, and, and that's a cassette tape. You know <laughs> I just fucking, I just want to bring it on the show. I think that's very unique to have. Speaking of this, do y'all remember? Let me see. Do y'all guys remember? Well, first, take a break from it. Take a fucking break, too. I can't see. The thing is, you see, this is Rashid's world. And I came across, I always come across some things that, that that I know that will interest us because we like geeky, we real fucking nerdy around here. And I come up with the most nerdiest, geekiest merchandise that, in my opinion, you can find on the internet. In my opinion, because I try to go all out with my shit. Y'all know that. And because this is my world, I really don't hold back on shit. I may touch a nerve. So just be prepared because when I show stuff, you guys might get a pinch of nerve. Because I really touch nerves. Like what I'm about to show you right now. If anybody out there who's from the 70s now. The 70s or 60s or maybe even fucking 50s, man. I'm about to show you something and see if you, you remember this. And for the people that's not from that time era of the 70s on back, you guys get to see it and learn. And know what turned us on when we were younger. Take a look. Are you ready? Do y'all remember these pencil sharpeners right here? Now, let me explain what that is. That's moving television. I don't even think they make anything like that anymore. But they're pencil sharpeners. And every kid wanted one of them. You took it and you moved it back and forth with your hand. And a picture on it, you, you know, it moved like it was a moving television. 
that was one of the biggest things in the seventies when I was coming up. It was if you saw somebody in your classroom with one of them, you had to look at it. And if you did, you wanted one so freaking much. Got to be one of the most emotionally necessities that you could look at from the 70s dude, if you're from the era. Do y'all remember that? What's your opinions about that? Remember them? They had different, um, they had clowns, they had lions, they had all kind of shit. Those screens right there, I'm going to get the name for that kind of technology. Well, I only, it's a, it, to me, it's kind of a technology thing. But more, but like a, a formidable kind of waver, wavery uh, manif manifest manifestation of some kind of art in movement. Because they once tried that same mechanism with billboards. They had these, you know, on our billboards outside when you're driving down the street. The billboard shift, and it was a different picture. That didn't last long. That was, that was, that was when I was a cab driver. When I was driving a car, you know, cab driver. And it didn't last long because social media came here. Now you can put a TV set there. So you don't really need that anymore. But just to know that it once was here. And it came the size of your finger you know the size of your finger and those pencil sharpeners right there people ate them up because they moved when you twist them do you remember that of course you do yeah 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 of course you do but it's good to look at all oh, hell the pencil sharpener that everybody wanted and only few of us had I know I had I had a couple I had a couple. I did. They always got stolen, though. You know what I mean? People always try to find a way to steal them. Okay, let's see what else I can find here in my bag of tricks in Rashid's world that we used to really enjoy. And this is what I'm talking about. A show, just like no other show, I could bring us way back in time. And uh, it feels really good to bring this to you guys. It feels really good. Well, let me see if I can find something in my mega, my bag of tricks here. Let me see. Let me see what else I can pull up here. Okay, speaking of what we used to remember. Speaking of what we used to remember. I'm going to put something on the screen again. And I'm going to see if you guys remember this. Now, it's kind of like the television. But what makes it different than the television is that you can eat this. You can really eat it. Take a look at this. Now, do you guys you get ready now? And this is from the 70s, maybe 60s. But basically, I remember. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Sweetie, this is from the 70s. Because I remember from the 70s. Do you guys remember this? Now let me explain what this is. This is candy. My daughter's name is Candy. As soon as I see it, I don't gosh what. This is candy. And this candy right here was very, very, very attentionable it grabbed every child's attention what it is is a human model of a skeleton and it comes in a casket like that and you eat the candy now here's the problem with this and y'all calm down because i know y'all going off out there who remember this y'all know y'all gotta remember this what the fuck the person that owned it didn't want to give out any pieces. They didn't want to give out any goddamn pieces. But I got a piece. I, I made sure I get a piece of that. That was one of the most fascinating candies you can buy as a child when I was coming up. 
it looked at biological, like biology. It looked at like it looked at like some kind of education involved in it. And what it was, it had different flavors. It was called Mr. Bones. And and I have yet met a child who took the candy, laid it on the table, and put all the bones together and, and just see the skeletal formentation that it formed. I have yet met a child that, did, that actually did that. They always ate, we always ate it right from the fucking, uh, the casket there. Now, when you finish the candy, for some reason, you want that casket. I don't know what it was. I don't know, like, why would you want a casket? But yet, you wanted that casket. You thought it was unique. And if you looked up top, I think you could hang it, it was a little piece there, where you could actually hang it around your neck. See, look way up top there, on the top. You see that right there, little that little mountain? All right, that was a hole I think you could put string through and hang it around your neck. Now, this with the candy in it or without it. It looked like some kind of government subliminal type shit. You see little, you know, they fucking white ghettos running around with shit like they're hanging from their neck. It looked like some kind of fucking... Boy George video with the war, run, war is stupid video with the old skeleton walk running on the street holding marching. Looks like some shit like that, but that's the shit that went on. But we ain't think like that. But it do look like a Boy George video if, you, if all the children had one around their neck, walking down the street, skeleton uniforms. But Jesus Christ, why the fuck did I say that? Introducing the Sloppy Joe, a brand new dance. From Libby's, the people who make Sloppy Joes. Just eat and eat. And swing to the beat. Nothing like it anywhere. Get beef or pork. What do kids think of it? Man, it's the sloppiest. Anyway, 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 anyway. Guys, do y'all remember Mr. Bones? That was the name of the candy, Mr. Bones. Very, very fascinating to look at that once more. Don't you think? Don't you, what you say? What you say? They look like they taste like Flintstones vitamins. Everybody want candy that tastes like that, but you never find it. You know, you never can find the Flintstones vitamin. I'm making y'all. Some of y'all listening to me probably getting taste for Flintstone vitamins right now. That was some. That's some good vitamins for kids. I mean, they taste so good. I'm, but it looks like it tastes like Flintstone, but it didn't. It tastes, you know, the chalky candy stuff. So it tastes like that. But it was very fascinating to have this Mr. Bones candy. And y'all guys, remember that. Yeah. Y'all remember that. Oh, hell to Mr. Bones. Okay. Moving on in Rashid's world. I'm going to see what else I got in my bag of tricks for us. Now, hold on. I got a lot of shit in my world now. I got a lot of stuff now. Just hold on. Let me see what else I got here. Uh, I got my bag of tricks here. My Felix the Cat type shit. Where is... Let me see. What else would you like to look at here? Let me see. Okay, check this out. Wouldn't you like to drink beer out of this? Now, for some reason, this is a video game beer glass, but it's Pac-Man. Why is this so interesting, this Pac-Man beer shit? 
why the fuck is this so I don't know what it is but as you drinking a beer as you drinking it and a beer is getting low and going down and going down and going down somehow it looks like a video game for some reason Am I lying? Am I? This is me fucked up in the head. Or do y'all agree? I mean, look at this shit. It's a Pac-Man video game glass, and as you drink it, the beer goes down, and it looks like you're—I don't know—psychological or some shit. What if you sit there drinking, and all of a sudden you look at your glass and see something like that? Your beer going down, and a Pac-Man on a game. How would you feel? Would you feel like you, like, subconsciously enjoying some video kind of shit? Why are you quenching your, quenching your thirst on, in my case, malt liquor? I would love to get some St. Ives up in there, dude. Oh, yes. No doubt about that shit. Mm-hmm, baby, you know that. But this is kind of interesting to have. This, um... Video game glass. I don't know where you can see all of these things. I know I don't think I get the candy anymore. I don't think from eBay and all this, but stuff like this, this antique classic stuff like this here, yeah, you would like to have this. I mean, you would just like to have it. Sounds odd, but you would just like to have it, dude. I mean, I don't know. Even for collect those momentum, just to collect it, it, it would be awesome. It would be awesome. Hmm. The old Pac-Man glass. I wonder if they have uh, other video games. I don't know. Maybe you guys listening though. We're looking. Maybe y'all know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't fucking know, dude. Anyway, let's go. Let's go with the next one now. Listen now. And we got coming up next. In Rashi's world. Y'all ready? Well, I try to bring us the best here, man. I try to bring us the best here. Now, who liked? Now, listen. Listen. Listen up. Who liked cereal on Saturday morning? In the 70s, that was God. And y'all know it was. Several cartoons went together like peanut butter and jelly. Like your parents and liquor. We went together. Now, I came across something that's very interesting. Now, you guys are going are to be taken aback by it. Because I know you remember this. Now, stay calm. You hung it on your refrigerator. And it was these right here. These freaky things. Who remember these guys? Now, these guys had names. They all had names. Do you remember which one you had? Think about it. Do you remember which one you had. Do you remember which one you wanted? I'll leave all of that unanswered. How about that? How about that? Interesting to come across these magnetic freaky and they hang and they hung on your refrigerator. But you played with them also. Wasn't these fun to come across? These freaky, uh, mag it was in a box of freakies, right? Freaky cereal. Yeah, for freaks. So y'all know RBT is only freaks around here, so I, I guess this is kind of fun to look at, you know? Remember which one you wanted, dude? You remember? You, you do, you do you remember which one you had? Boy, this going real back, ain't it? This going, it's going way fucking back, dude. Way fucking back. Speed Buggy Cartoon was on television. So was Scooby Doo. And you had the freaky, your freaky friend in your hand while you was watching TV. Did your brother or sister try to get you? Didn't let them 
touch it. She said, no, it was mine. Mommy, you see, I can handle it. You get the next one or whatever. The memories, you know? The fucking memories, guys, you know? But hats off to the freaky friends that stuck on your refrigerator. And goodbye, freakies. Now, having fun yet? Okay, now look, listen, guys. she gonna give it to you. <coughs> now, I'm gonna eventually, eventually, I'm gonna eventually do a show with this right here. Now, I know I, I had advertisements on RVT, Rashid's video tube, for this. But I never, we never got around to it. We got around, we did some, didn't we, sweetheart? Yeah, but we never really got, you know. Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a show for this. Now, these are all little weird things that was found in the... Classified. Well, not really classified in a comic book section on every in every comic book. Everyone, dude. every comic book had this. It was kind of like a postmortem classified section that had all of these different gadgets and toy. The most weirdest toys, the most weirdest things you can buy for a reasonable price. Now I found most of them were ripoffs. You know, most of them was, but still, you still could buy these things. I'm going to have a show. Right, sweetheart. I'm going to have a show that we are going to dig into that and go through each one and discuss it. I know I did on RVT before, but it's going to be on Rashi's CyberTube. And it's going to be under the comic book. The comic things when I do the comic shows, y'all know the comic shows I have on RVT Rashi Cyber too. It's gonna be under that, and we're gonna go through them, dude, because it's a it's a lot of memories there. Also, these things, these little um, things that they offered to the the children, were so, and they go back to the thirties, dude, on upward to toward past the seventies, damn it. And we're going to be looking at all kinds of different ads that they had for us. That we laughed about when we saw them. We thought they were the funniest fucking thing. And we said we had, we was dying just to see examples of them. You know what I mean? So I'm just be prepared. Yeah, take it down. Then I'm going to do a show with that well, about them. I just want to bring that here to wet out taste buds. So look for it on RVT also, guys. Moving on, because I don't want to stay here yoking on some animation. Got to get some animation done. In fact, I'm going to wrap this up really quick, guys. I'm wasting all this time. We having a ball. But I got animation to do. Y'all wasting all my time. Now, listen. This is the last one I'm going to show. And I want y'all to check this out. This isn't really... The last one isn't really Do You Remember. But I was searching the internet, and I was just looking around, looking around. And y'all know how Rashid loves science fiction. I came across something science fiction that's the most smoothest, appealing thing. Well, I ain't even going to call it a thing. Appealing structure. That I ever seen in my life next to one, the War of the Worlds we saw, sweetheart. We went out and saw War of the Worlds ship, War of the World ship, and next to that one. This thing is just so appealing that I had to bring it on RVT and show you guys. Okay? Now, take a look at this right here. Take a look at this. Where the hell can I purchase that? I'm calm, sweetie. I'm going to stay calm. I'm going to stay calm. When I first laid eyes on that right there, I lost my fucking mind, dude. You got to be kidding me. That is one of the most slickest, authentic, 
piece of material that I have ever came across is demonstrating sci-fi. I would love to know where I can purchase one of them. I don't know if they got them at Comic Con. I don't know if they got them. Use them. They probably do. But this one looks like it's pure silver. I don't know why. It just looks pure, like it's pure silver. And it, of course, it's like an alarm clock. Now, guys, I ask you, anybody that's into science fiction, let's keep it real. What do you think about that right there? What do you want to have that shit on your desk? What about in your office? What about in your bedroom? I think that's an alarm clock. I'm wondering, I see the plug there. And I know it is at a convention, some kind of convention. I don't know what the convention is. But I see a plug there, and I'm wondering, when you plug that up, automatically it's not wind up. Because if it's wind up, it wouldn't have a plug. So that means it got to be something more than just a clock running. I wonder what else this does. I'm just so freaking curious. What else does this does right here? Because it can't be, if this was just a clock, they could have made it a wind up one. You know what I mean? Maybe it's a radio also. I don't know. Maybe it gives off ship noises. I don't know. But you got to admit, this shit is fucking sick. Fucking sick. I would do anything to have that for a gift. That's fucking sick. Look at that, guys. We are talking about a, an authentic spacecraft. It looks like 1940s, 1950s. Flash Gordon. It's not really Flash Gordonable, but it definitely looks 40s or 50s. Maybe 30s. I love it. And the clock has the map of the world on it. That's amazing there. It looks like it's heavy. It looks like it's, I don't, uh, you know, maybe it's hollow. Maybe the ship is hollow inside. Maybe it's solid. Could you, if it's solid, could you imagine the weight of something like that? God, that is a gift of all gifts. Wouldn't you say so? So I wanted to bring in an RVT. I wanted to magnify it on RVT. This is amazing. For anybody, any geeks out there, any nerd, any sci-fi nerds out there. This is fucking amazing to have this in your bedroom. What's more, what if they got a saucer? This gold, a saucer. See, the, the thing is, I was out. And I came across this War of the Worlds, the War of the Worlds shit. It was something like this, but it wasn't a clock. It was just the model itself, and it was 100% gold. It was all gold. I took a picture of it and wanted to show you guys, but the picture didn't come out. Something happened, and I didn't really I didn't put it on the show. But I came across the War of the Worlds. It was in a model store, in a model shop, in a model store. But for a guy or a girl who's into sci-fi like back in the 40s, 30s, or 50s, or 60s, this got to be the ultimate gift. What did you say? And it's a plug-in. What else does it do besides tell time? What if the clock lit up, dude? Oh, my God. Wouldn't you want to have that in your bedroom or your desk? Simply amazing. Simply amazing. So I want to bring this here, man. Put it on my show to show you guys. I don't know what convention that is. I'm looking at the background. I don't know what convention that is. I know it's, it pro it's probably a, a science fiction convention. I know it is. But the way the, the artist made the rocket lean, in, lean on the clock. Is detailed, arti artistically done, immaculately, immaculately. It's just amazing. It's just breath. I want that shit, man. Immaculate. It's probably 
is more than a spectacle. It's it's just totally. I if you walk into a room, it will catch your eye. It's very bragging up. It's very handsome. It's very chic. I want to say it's chic, but it's just so so moving. So moving. I'm in, I'm in great awe and great. Uh, I'm I'm so impressed with this piece of work right here. I could see that it was carefully made. I could see that it was carefully put together. It shows a great deal of unison with the clock itself. Okay, I'm gonna just stop talking. But I just wanted to bring it here because I'm very impressed with this, guys. What do y'all think about that? What do y'all think about it? And it comes with a plug, guys. God, that's amazing. Simply amazing. It's not touching the clock. That's what makes it so unique. One more thing. I know, baby. I know we got to go, but it's not touching the clock. You can see the bar. It's a little inch bar. This this. Oh my God, that's amazing, man. That's really good. That's good. That's good work there. Yeah. That's good. But anyway, I wanted to bring it on to, to, to show us, guys. And thank you guys for coming to Rashi's World once again. Because I'm going to have stuff for us to look at around RVT. Because I'm not going to be sitting here doing nothing. And you not either. I'm working on some animation. I have the 30th of this month coming up. And it's going to come up quick, guys. I want you to be here. Okay? We have some fun. I know you're not going to understand the material. But I want you to be here, okay? Thanks for coming to Rashi's World. And y'all got to stick close to my Google page because I'll always be doing something on there. Rashid always changing up. And then we have fun. <laughs> As usual. And I'll be talking to you guys later. Have a nice evening and enjoy your weekend. I might be up tomorrow. I don't know. So I'll, until then. What's a fancy word I can say? Um, of why, I guess? Vamos? Vamos! See y'all. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Rashi in Edit. Join us next time for some more thrilling adventures. Take care. This has been an RVT Rashid's Video to Social Media Television Production. Can somebody give these girls some socks? Good girl. This program was brought to you by Rashid's Cyber Rock Films in conjunction with YouTube and Google Plus and social media plug out. It's all about change, real change. Peace.
Up next on RVT, Rashid's video tube. It's the Rashid and Jan show. Following that, it's the Rashid and Annette show. Slash Rashid's cyber tube. Beautiful weather is here. And as our shison season rolls in, let Rashid roll out exquisite entertainment here on RVT. Where's Rashid? Oh. You're watching RVT, Rashid's Teletoon Worldwide. Where is Rashid all the time? You're watching Rashid's RVT. RVT want to wish you a very happy shyston season. This RVT Rashid's video to broadcasting is brought to you partly by the Rashid and Jan show and by delicious refreshing strawberry milk. Drink an explosion of strawberry flavor in every drop. So like Rashid and Jan say, drink up. Why is delicious hot oatmeal so good for so many families? Oatmeal is rich in protein. A breakfast with delicious oatmeal with milk and sugar for a family of four provides as much total protein as six average eggs. As much total protein as 18 pieces of toast. And almost as total protein as 18 strips of bacon. That's why your family get that wonderful stick to the ribs feeling with hot oatmeal. That wonderful feeling of well-being with only one minute of actual cooking time. So be sure your family get the protein they need with the delicious hot breakfast of hot oatmeal. Just go over to www.oatmeal.org. That's www.oatmeal.org. What's cooking? Hot dog. Just an hot dog. Delicious wiener. On a bun. Delicious then, delicious now. A hot dog is high in potassium and rich in vitamin B. 13%. And it tastes great. Did you know a hot dog is a sausage? In definition, a hot dog is a fully cooked sausage grilled and served in a bun as a sandwich. Plump and juicy, how can you resist? Not that expensive and promising. Think back to childhood with hot dogs and baked babies and how the smell got you aroused with mouth water. An American ball game eatery tradition. It's no wonder why the all-American hot dog is still one of the number one best pastime snacks. Where the pork, beef, or chicken is guaranteed to satisfy. So go out and have a wiener. Look for money-saving coupons and papers in news ads. And here we are at Little Nestuga River. Little Nestuga River. Yes. Yeah, baby. And since we're here, let's get started on learning how to fish or learning how to stock up on fish supplies. And let's start with the Shakespearean fishing spinning wheel. 
When you think about it, it's an amazing pastime. And a sad one. Hey, not really. More than half of the fish population toss back their fish instead of keeping them. It's just an exciting sport. Whee! And think about it, it's so much to learn from. The spinning real part, the real foot, the real handle, the real body. It's so much to learn from. The spinning reel itself and learning about its parts makes the sport exciting. What an awesome Shakespearean experience. And speaking of Shakespeare, check out this alpha big water combo set by Shakespeare for $29.99. What a great deal. And here's more. Check out this fish pond gore range vest. It's really a vest, but it has the versatility of a pack. A mesh bag keeps you cool, and the numerous tabs and cord loops mean you can trick it out with favorite accessories. Just $149.95. This is a special offer. Well, check out this Shakespeare catchboard ride, a real combo for panfish. 46 ultra light action, one piece ride, 20 size, aluminum spool, pre spool fishing line, complete fishing kit with Berkeley power bait, just $29.99. Or oh, this Shakespeare Catchmore Fish Surf Pier Spinning Combo, medium 70 inches. Ready to go with the singular arm, helping you catch more fish fast. 50 size spinning wheel with chrome, $39.99. Dry King KVD 13 piece square bill crankbait kit, $64.99. Base Pro Shops Mega Cast Bait Cast Rod and Real Bait Cast Combo, 6x6. It has a graphite frame with a full bearing system, $54.99. Gaining your attention, are we? We're not surprised around here because it's one of the more quieter sports around with a lot of excitement. Learn about the different bait gear that's available and learn about catfish tackle and gear tips. It's all here on these instructional DVD sets that you can order. Check your nearest Mart dealers for info. They'll teach you the ultimate guide for catfishing gear. Head out to a fishing center near you and grab and learn about the Bank Master Pro and how to rig versa rattle catfish rig rattles. Monster Rod Holders, check 502-510-0275. That's 502-510-0275. For more info, go to discoverycatfishing.com, brought to you by RVT. Learn about the different catfishes, channel catfish, flathead catfish, and blue catfish. Small meanings worms, livers cut bait, shrimp, and big pieces live cut bait. Yeah, baby! And here on RVT is tips to show you how to find amazing places to fly to on your budget. Places that sell fish gear clothing. Nice, baby! Yup, so you can look good when you win that prize. Now you're talking, baby! Learn how to clean Abu Garcia Ambassador bait cast reels step by step with a clear selection for you instead of looking for that perfect ride and reel for days online. With so much to choose from, take a lifestyle change or continue on with the largest fishing unboxing set, 12 rods and 12 reels. Don't forget to toss me back. You said it. Okay, we think you're ready to go fishing now. So go fish. Go so tread on over to www.gofishing.com. That's www.gofishing.com. You're watching RVT, Rashid's Teletoon Worldwide. Where is Rashid all the time? You're watching Rashi's RVT. Up next on RVT, Rashi's video tour. It's the Rashid and Jan show. Following that, it's the Rashid and Annette show slash Rashid's 
cyber tube. Beautiful weather is here. And as our shison season rolls in, let Rashid roll out exquisite entertainment here on RVT, where it's Rashid all the time.